In this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create a simple music player app that can play music, fast forward, rewind the music, or also sync the music. To create audio players in Flutter, please make sure that you have audio players dependency included in your pubspec.yaml file. Let's first of all define a boolean of this playing. By default, it is set to false, meaning that we are not playing any audio for now. Then we define two variables, one for an audio player. This is going to be object of our audio player, using which we are going to play or pause or resume our audio. The next is a path. This is going to be the path to our audio. In this case, this is going to be stored inside my assets folder. So I'm going to use an asset source. We also have two other variables, one for a duration that is going to show the duration of our audio and the next is position that is going to show the current position of our audio. So let's define an init set inside which we have an init player. We also define a dispose method that is going to get rid of our player object. So inside the init player method, let's first of all initialize our player to audio player. Then let's define our path that is audios and name of the file and be sure that you should not include the name of the assets inside your path because the audio player by default includes it. So then we define a callback for our duration. Here we get our duration as a D and we say every time we get the duration you should put it inside our duration variable. Next we set a callback for our on position change. So every time the position is changed, we just put it inside our position variable. This is going to be used to stick our audio. And lastly, let's define an onplayer complete. So this is going to listen to the completion of our audio. Next, we define a method that's called play pause. This method is going to help us to play or pause the audio. So if the audio is already playing, we pause the audio and set the playing to false and if it is not playing we play the audio using display method and pass the path variable and lastly we set displaying to true now let's define the UI of our audio player at the beginning we only have a scaffold inside our scaffold we create a padding with a padding of 16 from all sides then we have a column inside which we have our audio info this is the widget that I have defined earlier that contains an, an image.asset also name of the file and name of the author that is hard coded for the present. Then we define a size box to put a space under this and lastly we create our slider. So this slider is used to show the progress of our audio. It has two required properties. One is the value that is going to be the position so we turn our position into seconds to show the exact position of our audio and also we have an unchanged this is also a required property so every time we are changing our slider we get a value that is going to be double so using that value we're going to use the seek method inside our player to move to the desired position using seconds and if we now hit save, you see that we have a slider, but right now we cannot move it because we have not started to play the audio. We can also add some more properties. We can define a mean, a max. The max is going to be the entire duration of our audio. We can also say that inactive color or active color. And lastly, inside the row below, we're going to set the duration of our audio so now if we hit save you see that this is the basic ui for our audio player but this is not still playable so as the last step we have some more buttons to be able to play or pause the audio the first thing we're adding is the size box to make some space here inside the row we have our first button this is going to be a rewind button using which we're going to rewind our audio to 10 seconds before so inside which we use we're using a seek function and send a duration we also change our duration to seconds and do a minus 10 
So this is gonna send our audio to 10 seconds ago. The next button we're gonna have is a play button. Using this button we're gonna play or pause our audio. We have already defined the play pause uh, method here. And as the last step, we are defining a forward button. This time also, we're gonna be using seek and pass a duration of our position plus 10 seconds. So now if we hit save, you see, we have our UI complete and now if I click here, we can simply play our music. We can also take our music as we want, forward it or also rewind. So this is a simple music player that we created using Flutter. If you want the source code of the application, I will put a link in the description. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe and hit on the bell icon so that you will be notified when we are uploading a video.